Hey, Magic fans. Welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. It's a two for today. We got only some good cards getting leaked, but we also got serious uproar in the art community, let alone the fact that Wizards of the Coast can't get their heads out of their butts about why you shouldn't hire AI artists. And why also their AI stance on how they're going to do their art is probably going to cost them in the long run. So before we get started on that, though, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate it. Links in the description to all the good stuff to support the channel, buying cards, all that good jazz. Description is free. We get to a thousand people. We're going to start doing giveaways. So let's hit it up. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the big art debacles around this card right here, Trouble in Pairs, which is out from uh, Karloff Manor. Matter of fact, I've sold this card already a couple times. Uh, so the call out came on Facebook and Twitter and many other places of the like, got circled around, it says, Hey, Faye Dalton, i.e. Faye, who wrote Draw This Card, do you mind not stealing my work on highly paid public commercial commissions in the genre of which I make my living and hold my reputation dear? This is criminal and theft. So, what other works have you stolen? So, Cyberpunk 2020, uh, Ravengers. This is from Donato uh, Goncola. I probably butchered his name, buddy, and I'm sorry about that. But as you can see here, no one really caught this till the card came out. Um, and really, it took uh, Donato here to actually see the card and recognize his art. And if you're curious uh, what he's talking about, it's this character right here. You can see this character looks just like this character. Very much so. Um, to the point where they look way too similar for me. Um, and I know people are going to argue this, that, and the other. But you can look here. You can tell this is an AI piece of art. For one, you know, me, this gives it away. Two, notice there's stairs in the background. Stairs in the background. And if you look, uh, this is basically this art flip backwards, which would cause these stairs to go up a different way. So, so for example, if we flip the art around in the card, you could see that these stairs actually go up in the background here the exact same. The only difference is this piece here isn't there. And you can kind of see right here uh, there's a white mark where they overlaid other AI art onto it, done either by the computer or by him himself. Uh, take your pick on that. Really don't care which. Um, if you also keep going forward, take another view at it. You can see right here other things uh, to kind of show it was stolen. You can see here uh, this is very similar. One is detailed, one is not. Uh, the detailed one was in Cyberpunk. This one was not. And you see here again, we talked about this earlier. Up here, you can kind of see uh, the bow right there. Like, this is clearly AI stolen. Um, and the problem with that um, is this is why AI doesn't work. Now, secondly, if this is not AI art, which I think it is, um, that means he pieced this together through Photoshop. And if Photoshop art is what we're getting from Wizards of the Coast, I have a whole nother issue with that. Not that the art can't be cool, but we have the instance like we're talking about right now where the art is stolen from other people, redrawn, Photoshopped, without them getting paid for it in any way, shape, or form, which is very bad for business. To the point where it doesn't matter if uh, Wizards of the Coast is like, oh, we commission the artist, it's not our big, it's not our problem, blah blah blah. Well, they took that art and then published it, made it onto cards with its likeness, and then sold that for money. Meaning they Wizards, along with this artist, owe Donato money, and that's going to be between Wizards and Donato. Now we had this exact same thing come up a while back. If you guys remember. Uh, with Crux of Fate, where the artist literally cut out uh, and photoshopped Ugin and um, Nicobolas into the picture, 
from older arts. And it was so blatant that it wasn't denied and the artist even admits it. Right now, I, we haven't heard a whole lot about this as far as artists admitting anything. But this is a blatant, blatant theft of art. Now, with that said, we could even give reasonable doubt. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the internet is wrong. Maybe everyone is wrong. It's possible. It's a large, large world out there, and you never know what kind of silly shit could happen. We could all be overplaying this. However, uh, if you look at this and flip the card backwards, you can see how this is basically the card flipped around because this art is now reversed. It's pretty simple, and if you overlay this art onto this, once the card is flipped back around, which is a piss-poor attempt at trying to hide this, you can blatantly see it lines up very, very well. Yes, some elements are missing, but even this arc here is right here. Like, it stole everything from this. Like, here's the, you know, the thing we talked about earlier. Uh, the stairs, the whole nine yards. Now, we could even look here. If you look here at this, you know, see that right there? That's right there. Like, nobody's pointed that out yet, but I'm, I'm sure someone's noticed it if they've paid attention, but maybe they, maybe they feel they've got enough ammo that they don't need to point out that. This is also the exact same design here. Almost to the T. Now, we may also still say, but wait, we still could be wrong. That could just be completely by accident. It's not necessarily a thing. However, does this guy look familiar here? From Trapped Detective Story Magazine from way back in the day. You know, back in 87 art style. You know, this is back in 87 when these art pictures were drawn. Now, does this guy look familiar to this guy? His skin color is a little different. He's got bigger ears, but he has he has the mark. He has the blood. Almost completely identical. So, I think this is just another example of uh, AI art gone wrong and people photoshopping at the same time. And it's really a travesty to magic in general that this is the route that they've been going. Now, what does that mean for Wizards? Well, like we talked about, Wizards took the art. They did purchase it. Um, and as far as copyright infringement, they don't have any. However, um, because there was no deal made, every time they put this art or the art of the card out there that the artist they commissioned stole from other people, or Donato by himself in this case, or actually this guy as well, um, which I'm not even sure if Donato even did this art, but anyway, point being, they owe them royalties, and because those royalties were not done beforehand, it could cost them a pretty penny to the point where it's going to cause serious damage to the profit of the company. Um, not to mention the fact that this artist who did this really deserves to not be an artist because this is pretty sad and pathetic uh, that this is how you do your art is just to copy this stuff. Now, you want to prove me wrong, I want you to get out a pen and paper and draw this shit, but I bet you money. Most artists these days don't do that because of computers, and they're like, oh, I'm an artist, I draw, and this, that, and the other. Do you remember back in the old days when magic cards had oil paintings and original prints because the artist drew them by hand and there was no computer involved? That's when the art was real. And even though copywriting could be part of it then, you still had to have the skill to draw the items. We even have a thing at fo that kind of came up here on the feed uh, earlier. Um, I thought was kind of funny. Uh, a Johnny for uh, the baseball card. Someone said that they traced over the picture of an actual lion and then added some stuff to it. And what they said makes sense, but at the same time, it's just funny. Um, but it does make sense. And I think, you know, with AI art being what it is and people not having real art skills, 
this is probably more the direction we're going to be going, and it's going to be really rough. And I hate to see it, especially in a game that I love. Uh, but at the same time, you reap what you sow, guys. And I hope the artists uh, who are doing these kind of things and stealing people's arts and just Photoshopping them in, I hope they lose work and don't get paid and people stop using them. So they learn their lesson the hard way uh, because they're basically scamming their, the people that are buying stuff from them. So that's how I feel about it. Tell me what you think down in the comment section, but that's all I got for that. So until next time, be kind, and I hope to see you cross from the game table, player. I talk about being kind after I sit here and just ragged on this artist for stealing shit. He stole shit, so you know, whatever. <laughs>